Hi guys, this is the Murad from mgtoots.com where you can learn everything about CNC and laser machines and their software to manage them. In this video, I'm gonna show you what's the new in newly released ArtCom 2018. In comparison with the ArtCom 2017, in 2018 developers add a small amount of new features. But before starting, I have a small announcement. Since I launched with a course about ArtCom 2D part, many people asked me to create video course about 3D part of ArtCom. And finally, I start work on it, and it will be available very soon. Well, probably it's already available if you are watching this video later than I recording it. That's why check description for details. So let's begin. First feature can be useful while you are trying to edit imported 3D files. A tool that calls create boundary from relief existed in previous versions. This will allow you to create vectors from 3D objects. But previous version will able to create vectors only from boundaries of 3D models. In ArtCom 2018, developers add a new feature that calls Vector Shadow. With this tool, you will able to create shadow of borders and cross sections. By this tool, you can generate shadow of sections and convert them into vectors. Another new tool is Gullish tool. This is still also available in latest updates of ArtCom 2017. I have an additional video about how to work with this tool. You can check it from the link on screen and in the description. Next new tool that added to ArtCom 2018 is a latent image tool. This tool is very specific and can be useful to only some people who work in a specific area. With this tool, you can create some pattern reliefs that can be used for security purposes. This tool can be found here. All you need to do is choose how many faces it should have. Based on chosen face, you should choose different vectors for pattern generation. These vectors must be closed vectors. One more moment, all chosen latent image vectors must be located inside of boundary vector. Then you need to choose boundary vector. Relief will be generated within this vector. Below that, you can set some other settings like sizes and degrees. After setting all parameters, click on create a button to create latent image. This process can take a long time and high amount of computer resources. Probably soon I'll create another video about latent image tool to understand this tool deeper. This is a great latent image. Also few updates added to some relief tools. These tools are smoothing relief, scaling relief and dome relief. Now you can see how all settings looks like on reliefs in real time. Previous versions, after changing any parameter, you should click on apply button to see result. Now when you are changing any parameter, you will see results directly without clicking on button. Okay, now let's check another small changes in this version. Bitmap new color window has small changes, here you can see colors, codes and can add custom colors and other useful things. Also now after this collecting data from users, as they say, they doing that to understand users better, you can find it under help and desktop analytics. If you don't want, you can uncheck this checkbox to turn this option off. Now ArtCom supports 4K resolution. Also you can create shortcuts from add-ons. To do that go to Windows Toolbar Shortcuts and Manage. Here you can set shortcuts for selected ArtCom add-ons from folders. Texture Preview. Now you can preview add the texture without adding it to the relief. Small update added to the angled relief creation tool. 
Now when you will click on red arrow, it will return to default Z height. Also, now you can reset all customization of interface. Simply close your model and go to Windows and Reset Interface to return everything default interface. When you are creating new model, it creates a new model in 3D view. Now you can change it. Simply go to Edit Options Miscellaneous and check Start New Model in 3D View. And another update is now you can change software language without reinstalling. Simply go to Edit, Options and Miscellaneous. Choose the language from drop down list. You will need to restart software to see it in your language. Well, this is all new updates in Artcom 2018. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit to mgtoots.com for more useful materials. Bye!